mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Welcome to this service of Holy Communion for Pentecost or Whit Sunday. On fifth Sundays in normal times, we join our Methodist friends for a combined service. Today is a fifth Sunday, so the Reverend Professor Stella Mills will preach to us this morning. Stella is a Methodist minister for the Trent and Dove circuit and a rural chaplain in Derbyshire. Thank you, Stella, for sending us your sermon. Music today is provided by Matthew Holmes, our church broaden, broaden organist. Thank you, Matthew. Two of the Benefice Wardens are doing our readings today. Angela Churchill from Longford is doing the Pentecost reading and Mike Emery from Church Broughton, the Gospel. Thank you, Angela and Mike. Jesus Christ, whom we worship, is our crucified, risen and ascended Lord, and we have walked with him through his journey of love. We have faced the agony of his suffering and death on a cross. We have rejoiced at his bursting free from the bonds of death. We have enjoyed his risen presence with us and his revelation of himself through the breaking of bread. We have seen his return to the throne before which every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. And now, with the followers of his own time, we await the coming of the promised Holy Spirit, his gift to his people, through whom we make Christ known to the world. As we wait in silence, fill us with your spirit. As we listen to your word, fill us with your spirit. As we worship you in majesty, fill us with your spirit. As we long for your refreshing and renewing, Fill us with your spirit. As we long for your equipping and empowering, fill us with your spirit. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven came a sound like the rush of a violent wind. And it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues of fire appeared amongst them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem, and at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished they asked, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. In our own language, we hear them speaking about God's deeds and power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others sneered and said, they're filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the 11, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk as you, are, you suppose, for it's only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters will prophesy and your young men will see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit and they will prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above and signs on the earth below, 
blood and fire and smoky mists. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The Lord is here. The Spirit, the Spirit is, with, is us. with us. Glory to God in the highest, and, and peace, peace to, to his, his people on earth. earth. Lord God, God Heavenly King, King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray that the Spirit will work through our lives to bring Christ to the world. Holy Spirit, sent by the Father, ignite in us your holy fire, strengthen your children with the gift of faith, revive your church with the breath of love, and renew the face of the earth through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful people and kindle in them the fire of your love. Hallelujah. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise Thank to you, you O Christ. Christ. Good morning, everyone. And I bring you greetings from Boylston Methodist Church. I'd like to thank the Reverend Jane for this opportunity of sharing some thoughts with you about our reading, particularly from Acts. Of course, we cannot be together in person as we would be normally at this ecumenical service, but we are using the best things we can and using technology in order to achieve them. The Methodists have been using Zoom as a video conferencing tool. I myself have been much more experienced with Skype, but it's been a new life of learning in that respect. And it's appropriate at Pentecost because of course, Pentecost is all about change. It's about a change in life. The Jews were gathered in Jerusalem and they were changed by a rushing wind and a tongues of fire descending. Signs of course, of God's presence. And then it was the miracle of hearing in their own language various passages and, and directions. Peter, changed as the others, stands up to speak, speak courageously. He first of all condemns those who think that they were the disciples are drunk by speaking about being filled with the Holy Spirit and foretelling the ends of the earth imminent thoughts in that immediate time after Christ's death and resurrection. Last Sunday, Methodists remembered Aldersgate Street, where John Wesley went to worship one Sunday evening in 1738 and had his heart strangely warmed. 
His brother Charles had a similar experience, not at Aldersgate Street, but in his house a few days later. Two members of the Church of England changed by a personal awareness of the Holy Spirit. And John Wesley, of course, took to riding across England and Wales and Scotland and Ireland on his horse. He also visited parts of Europe spreading the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. And Charles Wesley started writing hymns that have become ecumenical across the world, universal for praising and giving thanks to God. Changed lives indeed. But they were changed in terms of power, for the power that the Holy Spirit brings is Christ within us. They no longer lived by human power alone, but was spurred on into action for God in the power of the Holy Spirit. And today, God's Holy Spirit brings us power. It may not be riding across the world in a horse or on a horse, but it will be helping, helping others where needed, supporting others, caring for others beyond selfish needs. And we've seen many examples of this in the last few weeks, through COVID-19. We've seen and heard of NHS staff giving their lives for their patients. And of course, the first one was the doctor in China who gave his life in order to identify the virus and to bring its terrible consequences to the world. And we thank God for such people, people who stand up for God and for right. But what about us? Well, of course, we do many deeds and we have continued to do those smaller deeds through COVID-19 especially. We remember that in the power of the Spirit, those deeds are based on love. God, in his sole source of goodness, gives us that love for us to use. Perhaps as the lesser deeds of love than giving our lives for others, but certainly the telephone call, the time given to listening to someone who is lonely, the shopping for the vulnerable, but above all, the prayer for others is what's important. For others, like ourselves, seek direction and power. And we can change lives too, our own and others lived in God's love. Pentecost then, is a time to remind ourselves again and return to prayer to ask the gifts of the Holy Spirit for each one of us, to remind ourselves of the power of the risen Christ and to remember that that continued change in life of God's power and his wonderful love is available for us all. May we use it that God may be glorified and may God bless you all as you continue to serve him in these difficult times. Amen. Our affirmation of faith. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist, we believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the Church. This, this is, is our, our faith. faith. We, we believe, believe and trust in one God, God Father, Son and, and Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our prayers of intercession. We pray for God to fill us with his Spirit. Generous God, we thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. We ask that we may be 
strengthened to serve you better. Lord, come to bless us. And fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the peace of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to keep us confident of your love whenever you call us. Lord, come to bless us. And fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the healing of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to bring reconciliation and wholeness. Where there is division, sickness and sorrow, we pray especially for all those who are suffering from coronavirus and for those mourning the deaths of loved ones. And for those without employment, Lord, come to bless us. And fill us with your Spirit. We thank you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to help us for the work which you have given us. We pray for scientists and medical workers seeking ways to fight this pandemic. And for those in Africa and India finding ways to deal with the plague of locusts threatening their crops. Lord, come to bless us. And fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the fruit of your Holy Spirit. We ask you to reveal in our lives the love of Jesus towards our neighbours and all in need. Lord, come to bless us. And fill us with your spirit. We thank you for the breath of your Holy Spirit, given by the risen Lord. We ask you to keep the whole church living and departed in the joy of eternal life. Lord, come to bless us. And fill us with your spirit. Generous God, you sent your Holy Spirit upon your Messiah at the River Jordan and upon the disciples in the upper room. In your mercy, fill us with your spirit. Hear our prayer and, and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord fills the world and knows our every word and deed. Let us then open ourselves to the Lord and confess our sins in penitence and faith. We confess to you our selfishness and lack of love. Fill us with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We confess to you our fear and failure in sharing our faith. Fill us with your spirit. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We confess to you our stubbornness and lack of trust. Fill us with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Father forgive us by the death of his Son and strengthen us to live in the power of the Spirit all our days. Amen. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, if we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the Spirit. The peace of the Lord be always with you and to all of you worshipping at home. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. David, peace be with you. Peace be with you. Stella has already mentioned John and Charles Wesley in her sermon, so it is entirely appropriate that we are now going to sing two verses of a hymn by the great hymn writer Charles Wesley. O thou who camest from above. O thou who camest from above, the fire celestial to impart in love the flame of sacred love on 
Blessed be God, who feeds the hungry, who raises the poor, who fills our praise. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. And now we give you thanks that after he had ascended far above all heavens and was seated at the right hand of your majesty, he sent forth upon the universal church your holy and life-giving spirit, that through his glorious power the joy of the everlasting gospel might go forth into all the world. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of it. This is my blood of the new covenant, which he shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has, has died. died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts, in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing, Blessing and, and honour and, and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen.
being made one by the power of the Spirit as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we, we are, are one body, because we all share in one bread. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep, keep the feast. Alleluia! The body of Christ. David, the body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. Amen. Faithful God, who, who fulfilled, fulfilled the promises of Easter by sending us your Holy Spirit and opening to every race and nation the way of life eternal, open our lips by your Spirit that every tongue may tell of your glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We first lit this candle on Easter Day. Now at Pentecost, we extinguish it as a symbol that with the fire of the Holy Spirit burning in our hearts, we will take the light of Jesus Christ out in the world. Blessed are you, sovereign God, overflowing in love. With Pentecost dawns the age of the Spirit now the flame of heaven rests on every believer, strong and weak, women and men, tell out your word. The young receive visions, the old receive dreams. With the new wine of the Spirit they proclaim your reign of love. Amid the birth pangs of the new creation, the way of light is made known. Source of freedom, giver of life, blessed are you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. For 50 days we have celebrated the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ over the powers of sin and death. We have proclaimed God's mighty acts and we have prayed that the power that was at work when God rested, raised Jesus from the dead might be at work in us. As part of God's church here in this corner of Derbyshire, I call on you to live out what you proclaim. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, will you dare to walk into God's future, trusting him to be your guide? By the Spirit's power, we will. Will you dare to carry the light of Christ into the world's dark places? We will.
The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Today we have remembered the coming of God's power on the disciples and we invite that same Spirit to drive us out into the wild places of the world. May the Spirit who hovered over the waters when the world was created breathe into you the life he gives. Amen. May the Spirit who overshadowed the Virgin when the eternal Son came among us make you joyful in the service of the Lord. Amen. May the Spirit who set the Church on fire upon the day of Pentecost bring the world alive with the love of the risen Christ. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Filled with the Spirit's power, go in the light and peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.